creatives, and culture lovers. I'm Maria Bergman, your host and editor-in-chief of Creativity Is. Welcome to our vibrant canvas of news and discovery as we journey through the heart of art, culture, and innovation. Let's start with a review of the unique Uzbek Culture and Food Festival 2024 in London, where I was lucky enough to spend the weekend of the 8th to the 9th of June. Set in the charming Potter's Field Park on Tuli Street, the festival served as a gateway to the colorful world of Uzbek culture. The festivities kicked off with an enchanting opening ceremony featuring live Uzbek music and dance performances that transported attendees to the heart of Uzbekistan. The passionate melodies of the musicians and the graceful movements of the dancers set the stage for a captivating exploration of Uzbek traditions. Visitors were treated to a visual feast of cultural artifacts, from intricately woven textiles to exquisite ceramics and intricate miniature paintings. The tantalizing aroma of Uzbek cuisine filled the air, beckoning me to sample the famous national dish, plov, prepared by expert chef Baradin Chesti. Renowned for his culinary skills, Chesty holds the Guinness World Record for preparing over seven tons of plov to date. His creation was a culinary masterpiece, bursting with rich flavors that left a lasting impression. The warmth and hospitality of the Uzbek community was evident throughout the festival as they eagerly shared their heritage with visitors. Supported by the Ministry of Culture and Sports of Uzbekistan, the event served as a platform for cultural exchange between Uzbekistan and the UK, promoting understanding and appreciation. Muzaffar Sadikov, founder and executive chef of Ashpaz, expressed his excitement at the festival. It has been my dream to introduce the national Uzbek dish, Plev, to London. I am incredibly proud to be part of building a bridge between Uzbekistan and the vibrant culinary scene of London. Ravshan Usmanov, ambassador of Uzbekistan, the festival has been organized by the unity of the Uzbek community. Supported by the Uzbek Tourism Board and the Ministry of Culture, Uzbek Embassy in the UK, and will serve as a platform to promote cultural exchange between Uzbekistan and the UK. The person of the year was chosen on stage at the festival, Kamola Makmudova, leader of the Uzbek community in London. Mara Akmedjanov, ECG. This is the second year that the festival has been supported by the Eurasian Creative Guild and Hertfordshire Press. I had the pleasure of speaking to Shabnoza Sharipova, a UK-based educator from Uzbekistan, who shared her thoughts on the festival. I attended the festival last year and it was wonderful. This year's festival is even better. It's fantastic to see so many people interested in learning about Uzbek culture. I'm grateful for the opportunity to take part in this festival and share our culture with others. As I said goodbye to the festival, I was overwhelmed with gratitude for the organizers and participants who had put on this remarkable event. The Uzbek Culture and Food Festival was more than a celebration, it was a testament to the transformative power of cross-cultural exchange. Let's keep exploring exciting festivals. Ireland is buzzing with excitement as the inaugural Yes Festival kicks off, shining a spotlight on the creative brilliance of women in the arts. Inspired by the iconic female character Molly Bloom from James Joyce's Ulysses, the festival is a unique celebration of female talent across the arts. Over four days, from the 14th to the 17th of June, the Yes Festival will host over 40 events featuring more than 30 female artists from around the world. The festival's central theme, The Future, A Female Vision, invites audiences to reflect on the influence of women in society, particularly in the arts, business, and politics. The Yes Festival marks the culmination of the Ulysses European Odyssey UEO project, a three-year initiative spanning 18 cities across Europe. Celebrating the centenary of the publication of Ulysses, the project has created artistic responses to social and cultural issues in public spaces, culminating in this grand finale in Ireland. It is worth noting that the final day of the Yes Festival will be renamed Molly Blooms Day, as 16 June is traditionally known as Blooms Day, the commemoration and celebration of the life of James Joyce. Shauna Kelpy, artistic curator of Arts Over Borders, emphasized the significance of the festival by stating, countless words have been written about Ulysses, very often from the male perspective. So we're really excited that the Yes Festival should be created by women and to see how they interpret Joyce's masterpiece. 
The Yes Festival offers a diverse range of artistic experiences including theater, dance, visual arts, installation, film, writing, photography, textiles, circus, and music. The festival also includes a series of discussions on issues relevant to the role of women in society, with prominent speakers including Michelle O'Neill, Emma Littlepengley, Shami Chakrabarty, Mary Robinson, Louise Cullen, Aoife Moore, and Miriam O'Callaghan. The Yes Festival encourages us to reimagine the future through the lens of female vision and celebrates the unique contribution of women to art and culture. Thank you for joining us. Maria Bregman was with you. Until next time, fellow cultural enthusiasts.